Yes, everybody. Julian Lopetegui has just finished his press conference ahead of the game on Monday. So let's get into it and uh, tell you what he said. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way. Hello. I've done this for a while. No, where am I? Where am I? <laughs> There we go. Third time's a charm. It was actually quite quite a, a good press conference as press conferences go. Um, we've lots of questions asked about his um, his tenure at West Ham and uh, he got a little bit spiky. You know, asked about whether he was um, seeing, he'd be in contact with David Sullivan. You know, um, what did he think of but the newspapers saying he's only got two games left and uh, he came out fighting a little bit. And actually, sometimes, I you know, I think it was Gary Cottrell from Sky Sports who went, I don't understand what you're saying. Reword that quite, you know, and so showed his teeth a little bit, as you would. So he did seem a little bit under pressure, in, in all honesty. Um, but in terms of team news, he said we've got a, a little problem with two players, but we have to check tomorrow. He was pushed, um, asked who those players were, but he didn't say. But I hope they'll be ready for Monday. Obviously, we play on Monday, so they'll be training tomorrow, then probably going up on Sunday for the game on Monday. Um, but Nicholas is improving, but he's not ready yet. And it does seem that he, a bit later on, he sort of said it in sort of a, almost as like a, a throwaway comment to say, pretty much full crew, you'd imagine we'll be back after the Arsenal game, which is what's... You know, I think Arsenal may be on the bench potentially, but that's what's been said. Quite a long press conference as well. Um, asked about the international breaks. As always, we, we use the break to improve. We lost our players like all teams, but try to work hard to improve as a team like normal. Uh, we are working hard to get better because we want to get to the level I think we can get to. Interesting enough, the club didn't put any of the question, any responses up to his questioning about his job being on the line. Um, a bit about pressure and stuff. So, you know, there was you know a lot of the stuff we covered here wasn't actually... Uh, go back and watch the full first like couple of minutes. I think Gary Cottrell was on. That was probably the best stuff. Um, asked about pressure because our, our life is to live under pressure. That's why we choose this kind of work. The more important thing is that we're working very hard to improve. The players are very committed um, and we are not in the... Ha- and we are not happy. We're not happy with the position we're in. But there's still time and we have to get there step by step. Step by step. Um, asked a bit more about did he read the papers, any speculation. So I don't listen or read about what he said. I prefer to work hard. We put all of our focus on what we can control, and that's working hard and trying to improve. The season ends in May. So let's see how we're doing rather than in November. It's a fair point. It's a fair point. In that respect, you know, um, and then randomly he was asked about Danny Ings and the impact of Danny Ings. I don't know why, as he came off the bench, obviously made a difference, um, you know, in when he's made these cameo from sub positions. And he's very complimentary of Danny, saying Danny is one player who is working hard. We are happy with his commitment, and we're also going, and he's always going to contribute for us. There we go. Then finally, they were asked about actually, let me talk about it. He was asked about Jared Bowen as well. Obviously, England duty, um, asking about his uh, response to his you know, couple, of, couple of minutes being played. Goal as well, his first international goal. He says he always it's good for our players to score, for sure. Um, Jared was really happy. He was really happy. He says happy quite a lot now. And to play two games for England, which is great. Brilliant. Let's move on to talk about the uh, the uh, Newcastle game. Asked about Newcastle, tricky opponents. He says it's always a difficult game in a difficult environment. And we're playing one of the more complex teams. We have to be ready to compete with them. We have to do more and have to achieve the best level for every play. He really is like a coaching manual when you read what he says. <laughs> it's like, it's like you know, he's, 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 he talks a good game. We have to increase the level of the team, and that's what we're trying to do. Okay, we're trying to increase the level of the team for sure, and then we'll be happy. Um, yeah, it was asked about Guardiola. Come uh, random question about Guardiola. Um, apparently, all the Sky Sports pressers uh, questions are asking about Pep. But he says he's great to continue. He's happy. I'm happy for Pep. Um, now, well, then it sort of moved on to talk about um, another journalist was talking about confidence and she, how she interviewed uh, Crescencio Somerville after the Everton game, and 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 he had, and Lopetegui had gone in at half time and said he didn't understand why they were playing with so much fear. 
they play really, they train really well, but it's not translating to the pitch. Uh, and he says, it's true. We did much better in the second half against Everton than in the first. You could do much worse, to be honest. We were happy with the second half. Now I've said that you're going to see happy all the time now and thought we deserved to win. But we will take those positives to be more competitive in the next matches. The next matches being Newcastle away and Arsenal at home. And then she asked a question about the uh, the goalkeeper situation. Obviously, Fabianski, Fabianski um, did some stuff with uh, John Tomsky, Iron Supporting Food Banks, and the uh, yesterday, which was fantastic. And I think Sky Sports um, did some coverage of that. So keep an eye out that um, at a, a local a, a kids charity. So it was very, very good. Uh, he was in good form, said Rob, said John. Um, but asked about sort of the Fabianski Areola debate. He goes, "We have good goalkeepers, and I." have to choose i choose what i think is right for each game let's see what is going to happen it's not always that one person will play every game that's why i'm here to make the best decisions for the team good god (laughs) i want them all to be competitive and to be ready to step up and play lucas always works hard and he is ready as they all have to be there you go then he was asked about the fact we've got a few Monday games coming up and like Tuesday games. So like you know, you've got the Leicester game in like earlier the week and then you play Wolves on a Monday. Um, and I, it, it comes from a, and also an article that, that I, I read today that said that uh, he's been training the team later under floodlights to get used to the floodlights. Which sounds as I was talking to Ross uh, Twiddell, the, the Newcastle fan of Cultaholic fame, we were talking today, and he was saying gives you sort of Arteta vibes when he was trying to do everything um, that could possibly do to, to make things change. Um, but asked about Monday games. Does he like Monday games? We have to adapt and be ready, and I think it's the opportunity to show we are ready to be competitive against Newcastle away on a Monday night. Tell me why I don't like Mondays. That's going to be my tagline on Tuesday if we don't win. Um, and obviously we start at a period now, I think 20 games uninterrupted with international duty now. So a big bank of games, you know, half the season almost, well, yeah, half the season now without any international games. Um, and the festive period, obviously very busy, a lot of games, not just for the first team, for the academy as well and, and the under 18s. And asked about the festive period, he goes, it's, it's, a, it's very busy and key month because we got because we've got a lot of important games, we have to be ready for sure. And to have different players available, we'll have more possibility to be competitive as players come back. And now it's time to show what we're made of. So there you go. There you go. He did in that talk about the fact that Caduce coming back from suspension, Alvarez coming back from suspension. He spoke about Nicholas Falkrug being involved thereabouts as well. So that's where he sort of dropped in that, Pretty much after the Arsenal game, he expects him to be fully back. So that gives you a sort of timeline of when you like to see him potentially in the starting lineup. Now, I know what you're looking, thinking about. How many for sure? There's one thing to say about Shun Lokopetegi. He is consistent. He is at least 10 for sure every press conference, and he hasn't disappointed. 12, I believe, record high. Record high for sure. There was one triple for sure, which was beautiful. Halfway through the questions. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Chef's kiss for Julian Lopetegui. But we have not just got the for sure counter. We have got the debut today of the Focus Monitor. The Focus Monitor, seven. Reasonably focused. Reasonably focused. That could go more. That could go less. But we've got a baseline now of seven. Anyway. That's it, my friends. Thank you very, very much for your time. As per usual, don't forget to like, comment, share, all that good stuff. We'll be back for Hammond's headlines a little bit later on as well. And then we start getting ready for the Newcastle game. So we've got, as I said, Ross Twiddell from uh, Coltholic. Any wrestling fans um, or Holden Gibbies, his football channel. Um, he's our Newcastle oppo uh, fan that's coming on this weekend to talk about the game. And next week, yes, we've got the Newcastle game together. Right? Next week, mark your diaries. Probably Wednesday. A phenomenal My Hammers 11 coming up. I'm just going to say that now. I'm just going to just put it out there. I won't say who it is, but it's phenomenal. I told the guys, told the WhatsApp network, the West Ham, the West Ham network community WhatsApp page, they are wetting themselves. Take care. Much love. Come on, your eyes.